CNP Featured Research. This is your Diet Mental Health Break number 36. Brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology, two minutes to learn and be good to yourself. Is increased intake of ultra-processed foods, UPF, associated with an elevated risk of cognitive impairment? Let's find out. Ultra-processed foods, UPF, are linked to cardiometabolic diseases and neurological conditions like cognitive decline and stroke. However, it's unclear if these neurological risks are independent of overall dietary patterns. Bay Vital conducted a study to investigate the relationship between UPF and cognitive impairment and stroke and compared these associations with other recommended diets. This study followed a cohort of black and white adults in the US from 2003 to 2007. Using the nervous system, the researchers categorized foods from baseline food frequency questionnaires based on their processing levels. Consumption for each category was standardized by total intake. Additionally, dietary scores for Mediterranean, DASH and MIND diets were calculated. Incident cognitive impairment was assessed by comparing participants' performance on memory and fluency tests to a normative sample. The cognitive impairment cohort included 14,175 participants initially without impairment who underwent follow-up testing. Stroke cases were identified through medical record reviews among a cohort of 20,243 participants without a history of stroke. The study found that a 10% increase in the relative intake of UPF was associated with a higher risk of cognitive impairment. Conversely, higher consumption of minimally processed or unprocessed food was linked to a lower risk of cognitive impairment. Similar associations were observed for stroke risk, with the impact of UPF on stroke being more pronounced among black participants compared to white participants. These correlations persisted regardless of adherence to the DASH, MIND, or Mediterranean diets. The results suggest that food processing significantly affects cognitive health in older adults, independent of traditional risk factors and adherence to established dietary guidelines. Our thanks to Bave and colleagues for conducting this informative analysis. This diet mental health break is brought to you by the Center for Nutritional Psychology. This study can be found in the Nutritional Psychology Research Library's Sugar, Ultra Processed Foods, and Mental Health Research category. Visit us at www.nutritional-psychology.org to join our growing community.